Every minute, somewhere in the world, 10 hectares of forest are lost. In fact, deforestation and forest degradation are major factors in the greenhouse effect. Degradation can occur naturally, through forest fires, storms or drought, or be the result of human activity, chopping down trees, building roads or transforming the forest into hunting reserves or pasture. Or it can be a combination of the two. In 2005, globally, the total area of forest land was nearly 4 billion hectares, or 30% of the Earth's surface. But every year, 7 million hectares of forest are lost, an area equivalent to a small country like Ireland. Deforestation generates between 15 and 20% of all greenhouse gases, largely those gases linked to transport. In addition to increased energy efficiency, using more renewable sources of energy and work in agriculture and individual behaviour, Forest conservation could achieve a third of the savings needed between now and 2020 to limit global warming to a 2 degrees Celsius rise. In fact, forest conservation is actually likely to achieve the best results in the short term. The series of measures known as Red Plus, or reducing emissions due to deforestation and forest degradation, offer countries with a large area of rainforest like Brazil, Indonesia or DR Congo financial incentives not to cut down trees or turn forest land over to agriculture. But most of the developing countries with large areas of tropical forest suffer from weak government, vested interests and a cavalier attitude to the forests, as well as the environmental laws which govern their management. All of which only serves to make action on forest preservation an even greater priority.